Growth isn't luck, it's math. And this Excel quarter over quarter and year over year data set will help you track it like a pro. Like every one of us, we start with a raw data set that we have adopted from someone or somewhere. And we have to create this type of report. Let's start by filling in the blanks together. To calculate 2023 Q1 total sales, we have to employ some if functions. The first argument specify the summing range is the column with the number that we want to add. The second part of the condition is to specify the start of quarter. It checks if the date in column B of our raw data sets are greater than or equal to the very first day of 2023 Q1. If you're wondering what's the date and write function doing in the formula and, well, how it works, here's the spill. The write function grabs the quarter number. Let's say, for example, if your quarter is Q1, it yields a value of 1. And for Q2, it would be 2 and so on. And the date function converts it into a date format. The third argument is to specify the end of quarter. It checks if the date in column B of our raw data set is less than or equal to the very last day of the specific quarter. We use a eomon function to lock the quarter's final day. Now the key takeaway here is that the two condition in the second and the third argument creates the date range filter. So we only sum numbers from the exact quarter we specify. The last argument ensures that only rows with non-empty cell in column B are included in the calculation. Now to calculate quarter over quarter. We have to skip the first row because well, we don't have data for the prior year's quarter. So the Q over Q formula is the difference between the new quarter and the old quarter and divide the difference with the old quarter. We have to ensure that the total sales of the quarter in cell G7 is greater than zero before performing the calculation for quarter over quarter. If it's less than zero, we'll simply display blank. Now apply the same formula for the rest of the rows by dragging the fill handler again. And finally, for the year over year calculation, we will use the let function. The first two argument assigns variable A to the sum of total sales for 2023. Here is a pro tip. Using let function like this allows you to reuse the value in variable A later in the formula instead of rewriting the sum function repeatedly. Next two argument assigns variable B to the sum of total sales for 2024. And the last argument in this formula is to calculate year over year growth rate by calculating the difference between this year's total sale and last year's total sales and dividing the difference by last year's total sale. And you're done. Now, show of hands of who's ready to automate their report.